the North take on the Creeps. Rohit Raju is a time to leave the Desi Hit Squad. Kimberly makes an appearance. A number one contenders tournament is on the horizon. All this and more are coming up next on Shooting Up North as heard right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. I'm Lewis Carlin. So on the last episode of Impact Wrestling, it was advertised that the North, the Impact Wrestling Tag Team Champions, were going to defend their belt against a team up in Canada. And this had got me excited. This has got this had gotten me real excited because I'm up here in Windsor, Ontario, and I know there are a lot of great, great teams, uh, tag teams up here um, in um, the Ontario area, in the Quebec area, in Canada in general. There are a lot of a lot of really, really good tag teams, and I, I got uh, I got pumped up for this. I really got pumped up for this. I I did my podcast, and I was um, I uh, last week, and I was thinking about who. Who, who the opponent could be. I was thinking it could be uh, Le Tabernacle, the team. Um, uh, I was thinking it could have been um, Aiden Prince and Brent Banks. I was thinking Halal Beefcake. Another team I was thinking about was uh, Vaughn Vertigo and uh, Gabriel Forreza, uh, Fight or Flight. And I was I was getting really excited because you know the the prospect of a really good match to to get a new team on Impact Wrestling, uh, I, I was I was I was stoked I was really excited, and um, when it started, uh, first of all we saw the Ice Man. Ice Man was it's like he had like seventeen thousand cups of coffee uh, before um, uh, before uh, the segment started because he was just wired out of his mind. Uh, George Ice Man was uh, the guy doing the announcing. Uh, he's actually the owner of Destiny Wrestling and um, you see him from time to time on Impact Wrestling I think he hosts a, he hosts a show an Impact show an interview show on uh, on Twitch uh, for Impact Wrestling but he was he was just wired out of his out of his out of his head and during this during this segment but you know, okay fine you know he's wearing um, he's wearing his Canadian hat he's, he's dressed in his Canadian um, clothing it's fine fine so he introduced uh, the North and the North come out and I'm like all right here we go here we go and I, I, I'll be honest, man. I'll be honest, man. I, I was on Twitter. I was, I was, just, my gut feeling was it was going to be TDT, La Tabernacle the team, a great, great tag team up here uh, in um, there out of Quebec, and a great tag team up here. I, I was expecting uh, Matthew St. Jacques and uh, Thomas Dubois. And actually, I was on Twitter and I wrote, I had OMG, it's TDT, TDT. And I was ready to hit, I was ready to hit um, uh, send. But uh, but uh, I held off. I held off just just to make sure, and and uh, went through the segment, and uh, the um, and the wired up uh, Iceman announces that the the opponents are a team called the Creeps. This really short guy and this really thin, skinny guy. I've never seen them before, and. Um, it, it just it was just a, it was just a disappoint, disappointment just an immediate disappointment the whole segment was uh, basically a comedy act uh i'm sorry this the north are not a comedy team the north are one of the best tag teams in the world every every match that you see the north involved in it's absolute fire it's just a fantastic match, no matter who they who they go up against, whether it be the Deaners, whether it be uh, the Rascals, uh, whoever they go up against, uh, Triple XL, or they had a great match. They're just absolute fire, and they prove time and time again that they're one of the best tag teams on planet Earth. I don't know why they decided to do this type of segment it just to me it just it 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 didn't make much sense to me okay yes you you can you can argue um you could argue that the there's a pandemic going on right now uh horrible pandemic uh, people are dying people are suffering uh people are out of work and maybe they just want to have a little bit of lighthearted fun and uh try to put a smile on on uh, people's faces okay i i understand that i i understand that but this was more like a a segment that you would have seen from like a Johnny Swinger, or like Johnny Swinger teaming up with uh, Disco Inferno, 
and uh, they take on the creeps. That's 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 more along you know the lines that as as I would see it. I don't see this as as a North segment because because like I said, the North is not they're not a comedy act. They're one of the best tag teams on on, on Earth, as I said, and so I, I I was disappointed. I was disappointed with this with this segment. Now. Uh, it did have a few. It did have its moments, you know. The the chant TNA TNA, um, Ethan Page uh, directing the camera to to look at uh, to to focus in on the title, um, the the fake audience members. It, it, little cute moments, but still, it it wasn't it wasn't a segment that I was expecting from the North. But but the North, in my in my eyes, have a chance to redeem themselves. Talking to a, a another website for an interview, Ethan Page has stated that that there's another segment that was filmed with the North defending their titles. He didn't elaborate on 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 um, on the segment uh, that was filmed, um, sworn to secrecy, I guess. But uh, there is something. There is another another segment filmed with the North. So hopefully. Uh, we will see. Um, here's what here's what could, here's what they could do. The they they do another similar segment, doing the comedy thing. The creeps come out again, looking for revenge or something, uh, or a rematch, or they bring out another um, uh, another um, joke of a team, and uh, then a real team comes out like TDT or Halal Beefcake, and they challenge them to an actual match, and we get a fantastic match with uh, the North against um, whoever whoever comes out uh, to challenge them. That's what they could do. Actually, you know what they should have done, and this is just my opinion. I mean, I'm a fan. You know, this is this is what I would have liked to have seen as a fan. They should have just did an open challenge in Canada. Just the the North's open challenge. And uh, they just challenge uh, to. They filmed three or four matches up here in Canada against um, some top tag teams, and um, they're showcased on Impact Wrestling. That that's that 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 would have been um, that would have been fantastic. I would have I would have loved to see that, and I think a lot of people would have loved to have seen, have seen that as well. Because you know TDT going full force, uh, they could have brought in Sabotage, you know Justin Newhook, uh, Matt Connors uh, out in the Maritimes. They could have brought them in as well. Uh, the Space Pirates, you know, you think of um, Space Monkey and uh, Sean Saber. They they could bring them in and and have a match. Um, anything but the creeps. Anything but the creeps. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, and uh, that, that's. Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe they were poking fun. Maybe they were just poking fun at their their at their opponents, uh, or or the lack of competition in Impact Wrestling. That you could have, you could look at it that way as well. Uh, lack of competition in Impact Wrestling. So uh, we br- we brought in the creeps. We brought in the creeps uh, to be our opponent, but but anyway, I, I I hope the next segment is um is a lot better uh, than uh, than this segment, uh, the the segment that we saw on Tuesday. Okay, let's move along. We actually have a number one contenders tournament uh, that will be um, taking place uh, over the next um, few weeks on Impact Wrestling. Uh, it will be a number one contenders tournament for. Tessa Blanchard's Impact Wrestling World title. Um, initially, Moose, the uh, quote-unquote TNA World Champion, was in this tournament, but he pulled out, saying he didn't want to wrestle uh, for a secondary title. Says that the TNA title is the number one title, uh, I guess, in Impact Wrestling. Um, and it, it's, a, it's a title that's more prestigious than, than the Impact Wrestling title. So he wants no part of this tournament. Uh, so as he stepped out, Rohit Raju steps in. And now we have a number one contenders tournament. And the brackets are, are like this. And I, I know uh, BQ uh, touched upon it on, on his review. Uh, so we have a Rohit Raju taking on Trey Miguel, uh, Sammy Callahan versus Michael Elgin, uh, and on the other side, we have Ken Shamrock versus Rhino, Madman Fulton versus Hernandez. Uh, now, Hernandez being um, a TNA guy, it's a little confusing as to why he's in the tournament. Um, this Impact Wrestling, he's a TNA guy. You kind of expect that he, uh, being a TNA guy, um, who's saying that he's the TNA uh, champion, that he's better than any TNA wrestler that ever existed, that 
you know, Hernandez would be, um, hey, you know, I'm going to go after Moose. I want the TNA title. Uh, but no, Hernandez is is in this um, is in this uh, title tournament. Uh, so uh, one 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 um, one pairing one match I look at that's that's that uh, I I don't know why they they're pairing the two. It's Sammy Callahan and and Michael Elgin. You would have thought that that would be the final match. Uh, you know, Michael Elgin came out and um, went back and forth uh, verbally with Sammy Callahan and Ken Shamrock, and it led to a little alter- altercation. You you would think that Michael Elgin and Sammy Callahan, you know, that's the few there, but but it seems to be uh, you know you know Ken Shamrock on the other side. So people think you know it could lead to Michael Elgin against Ken Shamrock. I don't think it's going to lead to that. I don't think it's going to lead to that. I I'm 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 saying Sammy Callahan's going to beat Michael Elgin, uh, and uh, he's going to be in the finals against. Uh, I'm going to go out I'm on a limb here, you know, because there's a uh, you know there could be um, a lot of interest in you know, Madman Fulton. You no, know, Sammy Callahan just um, breaking away uh, from OVE and OVE Madman Fulton looking to um, prove that uh, he's a top guy. And uh, I, I think the final is going to be Sammy Callahan against Madman Fulton. And, uh, I, you know, I want to say Madman Fulton is going to win. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people listening right now are thinking that you're going to be crazy, but it's, it's not really that crazy. I mean, uh, Sammy Callahan breaking away from OVE, and now OVE doesn't have a leader, and uh, they need to establish themselves uh, or reestablish themselves as a legitimate team because they are just losing week after week after week after week. So it might not be a bad idea to have Madman Fulton actually win this uh, number one contenders tournament. Um, you, the, the obvious choice you're thinking about, you think of uh, Michael Elgin or um, or I, Ken Shamrock. Now, I... Good goodness gracious! I hope it's not Ken Shamrock, because I, I would really, I just, I don't want to see Ken Shamrock locking that ankle ankle lock submission on uh, Tessa Blanchard, and uh, I just, I just, just, just something I just don't want to see. So I'm going final Sammy Callahan against Madman Fulton, and um, I don't, I like I said, I would not be surprised if Madman Fulton wins this tournament. Um, I wouldn't be surprised at all, and um, it, it would make sense. You know, it would it would add a little bit of uh, legitimacy uh, back to OVE because, like I said, they they haven't won in a, in a very long time. So, Rohit Raju, Rohit Raju is uh, is in this tournament. I, as I stated earlier, it was supposed to be Moose, but he backed out. Uh, so Rohit Raju took his spot, and I don't know if if anyone liked. Rohit Raju's promo as much as I liked Rohit Raju's promo. It was absolutely fantastic. I think Rohit Raju needs to step away from the Desi Hit Squad. I would say drop the Rohit Raju name. You know, go to, back to Hakeem Zayn. Let him be Hakeem Zayn. Let him bring in Karam. And they're, cause they're killing it right now on the indie scene. Uh, um, Hakeem Zayn and Karam. Uh, they're AAW, uh, Glory Pro. Great, great combination there. Get him away from the Desi Hit Squad. He's 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 absolute fantastic on his own, and with uh, Karam, um, doesn't need to be with the Desi Hit Squad. He cuts amazing promos. Just let him loose, man. Just let him loose. He he is such a terrific, terrific talent and uh, I think he needs to uh, he needs to have a chance now uh, to show exactly what he can do and uh, he's gonna beat Trey Miguel he's gonna defeat Trey Miguel and he's gonna move on to um, I'd be very very surprised and disappointed if he didn't beat um, Trey Miguel to move on to the next round uh, whoever uh, it's either Callahan or Elgin uh, but whoever it is he's gonna give them a tremendous match and um, I say, uh, like I said, just they got to give him an opportunity. They have to give him an opportunity because if they give if they give him the ball, he will run with it, man, and he will just he will. This is gonna sound corny, but he'll run with the ball and he'll just keep scoring touchdowns, man. Absolutely, man. Big fan of Hakeem Zayn. Just let him loose, man. Just let him loose. 
All right. Actually, you know, they're doing this uh, this tournament, <clears throat> and uh, there was um, a guy on, uh, I think it was Facebook, who says, oh, look, they're doing a tournament. You know, they're copying AEW. You know, because AEW, I think, is doing a TNT, T- TNT championship tournament right now. Uh, so this this clown on um, on Facebook social media is saying that oh Impact Impact Wrestling is going to copy AEW um, because AEW is doing this TNT tournament and now of course Impact Wrestling wants to do a tournament yeah because well, it's clearly AEW is the first professional wrestling promotion in the history of professional hundreds early 1900s even be even in the late 1800s. First promotion in the history of professional wrestling that has ever had a tournament. AEW, you know, cutting edge. You know, they 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 have they get the brains rolling there. They're the first ones ever to do a tournament, and Impact Wrestling is just copying them. It's just copying them. This this is this is coming from a from from this from a schmuck on Facebook. The people are so stupid. They're so dumb. It's like, yeah, well, yeah. Impact Wrestling, uh, Impact Wrestling is is doing this tournament because they're trying to be like AEW, yeah. You know, because, because you know, because yeah, yeah, because you know, the Scott Demore, Don Callis, and hey, what are what what are, what are the other uh, promotions doing? And uh, it's like, oh look, AEW. There, what's this? What are they doing? They're having a tournament. Wow, no one's ever done that before. Let's let's jump on the bandwagon. Let's jump in on let's get in on this and let's do our own little tournament. It's that's never been done before. You know, just just before you type something stupid, just just think. Just think before you type something stupid. You know, they're, they're not, we're just copying anybody. So dumb. But anyway, we um we had uh, another debut actually, uh, Kimberly. Uh, made her debut. Uh, she was on uh, the Man of that Madison Rain uh, locker room talk, uh, the locker room talk show, and uh, she showed up and uh, got in the face of um, of Havoc. And now next week we got Havoc uh, versus Kimberly, and and they have quite a history together, uh, Kimberly and Havoc. Uh, if you go on fa- um, Facebook, if you go on YouTube, uh, you'll there's a number of matches between the two, and they're they're really good. I was watching a few of them before. Uh, they're really good matches. So uh, next week we should we're, we're in for a really good match uh, next week between uh, Kimberly. And um, and havoc, and uh, so you got Kimberly and uh, Navea who showed up last week, um, two um, new members of Impact Wrestling, and I thought that you know they would uh, that their new their new um, new signees, but uh, apparently according to um, PW Insider, uh, neither of them have actually signed with the company. Uh, they're both of them are negotiating possible deals, and that's. Um, uh, that's coming from um, no e wrestling news. I'm sorry, that was on e wrestling news, and uh, I'm just reading that now. So e wrestling news says that um, uh, whether you know, I don't know how legitimate e wrestling news is, uh, but uh, <laughs> but uh, this uh, article said that Kimberly and Nevaeh have not officially signed with the company. Uh, the two are still negotiating possible deals. So, uh, Nevaeh, I believe, is uh, Jake Christ's wife, and uh, Kimberly, if I'm not mistaken is um uh zachary wentz's girlfriend uh so i think odds are really really good that they're both going to sign with impact wrestling if they haven't already and this is just going to make the the knockouts division just the absolute best female division in professional wrestling it's it already is the best and this is just going to make it even better kimberly is just just a phenomenal in-ring performer um like i said just go to youtube you can see any any of her matches uh there's a match up there against uh, nicole matthews uh on youtube which is just just absolutely fantastic and um very very excited um and hopefully they'll they'll uh, they'll sign soon and and you you know when you think about it the, the, them officially not signing uh may be true because normally when a wrestler signs with impact wrestling you will see um on on their social media impact wrestling social media that uh the wrestler uh, let's take chris bay for example and chris bay signed with impact wrestling um, you went on social media and uh, they were they were hyping. Oh, Chris Bay has signed with Impact Wrestling. They haven't done that with Kimberly or Nevaeh. 
Uh, so, uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks. See if they're um, actually um, if they sign deals. Thing. And uh, X Division match. There was an X Division title match uh, and, um, uh, this week, which was just a killer match. It was Willie Mack defending the X Division title against uh, Chris Bay and Ace Austin. Uh, but this match, for some strange reason, was not advertised at all. Granted, granted, the the match was made during the show. That Chris Bay said he's the number one contender and he wants the title shot. And then, um, and then Ace Austin wanted in on the match, so they made a triple threat match. They, they didn't have to go that route. They could have just advertised X Division title match. Willie Mack defending against Chris Bay, you know, and then Ace Austin could get involved and it'll become a triple threat match. But advertise the match, X Division title. They have to make that an important title again, you know. But the way they treat it, it's they don't really treat it like it's a meaningful title. They should have advertised the hell out of that match. The f out of that match. They should have advertised, you know, Chris Bay's exciting newcomer to Impact Wrestling, you know. He's got a great future, and he's a future X Division champion. Get his first shot at the X Division title. They should have just—they should have advertised the crap out of that match. I, I'm sorry, that, that's again, but nothing taken away from the match. The match was 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 fire. The match was fantastic. I absolutely loved it. And Chris Bay, uh, he got hurt during the match. Uh, you can see he's got blood was coming out of his mouth, but uh, the match was great. But but they they got a. They should have advertised it, man. They should have advertised it. The people, you know, they advertised the the North defending the title, and we get the North versus the Creeps, right? And that was a, a bit of a disappointment, in my opinion. As I stated earlier, I don't want to go back into that, uh, but this X Divi- X Division match was 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 terrific, and they should have, like I said, advertised the crap out of it. You know, make make the X, Div- X Division title, you know, seem seem important. That that's. That's definitely what they should have done, man. But anyway, that is it for me until next time. And I'm working on a couple of new, a uh, couple more uh, interviews. Um, nothing is scheduled yet. I don't want to say any names until things are, you know, definite. But I'm working on getting a few more interviews. And uh, if you haven't heard, uh, Rohit Raju, my interviewer, Rohit Raju, is out now. Uh, you could check that out um, on the Impact Lounge. And uh, and that's it for me. That's it for me. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.